Yo guys, what is going on? I want to talk about Daniel Jones right now and how he's just taking the league by storm. And honestly, this is something the NFL did not want to happen. Nobody wanted to see Daniel Jones succeed. Um, you know, we, Daniel Jones have, has just won two games. Yes, they have been against bad defenses. But guess what? The, they've been, yeah, they've been up against bad teams. But guess what? Jared Goff couldn't even beat the Buccaneers defense, and Daniel Jones beat the Buccaneers defense. I, that's, that's what that that's what I think people are not are forgetting right now. It's Jared Goff, who, whose team, the Rams, are the defending NFC champions, lost to a team that Daniel Jones beat. All right, and this is without Saquon. Okay, this is this is without Saquon. This is with uh, this is with this guy Gallman, Wayne Gallman Jr. He's he's on the Giants as their backup running back. Do you realize what he is doing right now is impressive? This is he's definitely I'm gonna tell this right now. Kyler Murray, he's a good quarterback. Uh, I already am predicting Dwayne Haskins is gonna be a bust. I don't think Dwayne Haskins is gonna do anything in this NFL league besides leave in the next upcoming years. Don't forget that Dwayne Haskins was even a thing. Um, and I'll go deep into that in another video, but Daniel Jones is looking great. I, he doesn't even have his best receiver there yet in Golden Tate, and Golden Tate's coming back soon. Um, you know, he's going to guys like Sterling Shepard and, and Evan Ingram, and they're great players. I'm not saying Sterling Shepard and Evan Ingram aren't great, but he's not only throwing to them, he's, he's not throwing to his top wide receiver yet. He's going to get Golden Tate back. Now, I'm not saying the Giants are going to win, are going to go to the Super Bowl at all, you know, but they are going to do way better than we thought. Daniel Jones seems like he's a top. He could develop into a top 10 quarterback in this league by even by the end of the year. I know it's crazy to say, but he could actually do that. And it's and believe me, if I thought I was going to be making this video early on in the season, I would have thought I was crazy. But this is, this dude's actually looking like he could be a star. And we're overlooking that right now. We're overlooking that because we have Gardner Minshew, you know, and, and how he looks like Rico from, from freaking, uh, he does. He he honestly does. He looks like Rico from the Napoleon Dynamite. But and although it's 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 funny to look at and stuff like that, but man, this is a guy everybody wrote off, wrote, wrote off right away. He, he they take him with the six the six overall pick in the draft. And everybody's saying, oh, you could have got him in the third round. You could have drafted Kyler Murray. But guess what? How's Kyler Mur How's Kyler Murray and how is Dwayne Haskins looking right now? Last time I checked, Daniel Jones has not lost the game. And guess what? Dwayne Haskins and Kyler Murray have lost games. Okay? This, this is no joke. Daniel Jones is a good player. Okay? You could have got Dwayne Haskins. Who cares? Who cares about Dwayne Haskins? Dwayne Haskins, are we seeing this with quarterbacks right now? Right now in general? Right now in general. You know, Dwayne Haskins is a good quarterback. He's decent. All right? But is he a guy that you can seriously put behind saying, that's the guy that can lead us to a new Super Bowl? That's the guy that can win us a Super Bowl? No. Look, everybody knew three days ahead of the draft that, that the Giants were seriously looking at Daniel Jones. And you know, a lot of people were saying, well, you could have gotten with the third round pick. It would be fine if you could take Dwayne Haskins or someone else. You could get maybe some help for Daniel Jones, maybe draft a wide receiver ahead. You could have got Marquise Brown. You could have got Terry McLaurin. First of all, you don't know that. You don't know that they could have. Right? Who's to say that the Giants didn't know that there was a team coming up in the first or maybe second round that was going to try to take Daniel Jones from you? That was going to try to take Daniel Jones. And they were like, well, we, we have... We have to use that pick on Daniel Jones then. You don't think if the Giants knew, didn't know, didn't, 
Well, first of all, if the Giants didn't know Daniel Jones was going to be drafted ahead, they would not have taken him with the sixth pick. It's just not going to happen. They're going to try to draft someone else. But they knew. They probably knew. And I, I'm just saying, they probably knew. Because I don't see why else they would do it. They knew that someone from some other team was going to draft Daniel Jones before. Daniel Jones before they could if they did not take him with the sixth pick of the draft. They just knew. They knew flat out that that, that was going to happen. So you ha they had to. They had to. And guess what? They made the right decision. They made the right decision because last time I checked, Dwayne Haskins is looking horrible. I get it. He has a bad team. But Daniel Jones has a bad team too. Okay? Arguably, Redskins defense is a little bit better than the Giants defense. Arguably. It's an argument that you can have. But both are bad teams. The only difference is one has a good quarterback. One has a quarterback that can emerge. And I'm a Patriots fan. Okay, I'm not usually happy if the Giants are doing good. But you know what? This Daniel Jones guy is looking really good. And that kind of excites me. That excites me. Because you know why? Because this league right now is getting brainwashed thinking, oh, you draft this guy, he's going to be your savior. You know, most of the time the experts aren't right. All right. Let's just be honest here. All right. Who would you rather draft if you, okay, if we're going back to last year, okay, and we're talking about drafting, who would you rather draft now if you have the chance? Saquon or Baker? Now, first of all, this depends on your team situation. Now, if you're Tom Brady, if you're the Patriots right now, do you really want Baker Mayfield still? If you, if, here, here's the thing. I, I'm going to put it into things like this. If you're the Patriots, okay, you have Tom Brady. He's 42 years old. But he's still saying he could play three years now. Three more years. Okay? You have a guy... You can either draft Baker Mayfield, who can be an upcoming, up and coming star, groom him a bit, take Brady under his wing, uh, take Baker, Brady can take Baker under, under his wing, or you can draft arguably the best running back that could ever live. I'm taking Saquon. I'm taking Saquon because I am a Patriots fan. I would love if Saquon was partnered up with Brady, okay? Baker, Baker's a good quarterback, don't get me wrong. But I don't see the Browns winning a Super Bowl anytime soon. First of all, it's going to be the Patriots for the next few years. Maybe the next year or next two years, maybe. And that's going to be putting Mahomes' this time. And then maybe when Mahomes is gone, <laughs> Mahomes, is, and Mahomes eventually falls off. I don't think it's going to happen. But if it does happen, maybe the Browns could do it. I'm not saying the Browns can't win a Super Bowl. They could, but not with this team. What I think, I, what I guess I'm trying to say is, the experts were saying, oh, Baker, take Baker, take Baker. If you're the Browns, I guess they made the right choice because they eventually got Nick Chubb too. And Nick Chubb's a good running back. He ain't Saquon, but he's a good running back. You're going to tell me that you would not want Saquon on your team? I would rather have Saquon on my team than Baker Mayfield if I'm the Patriots, duh. But I guess it depends on what where you draft it, uh, or, or who who you have. Like if I'm let's say if I'm I guess I guess we'll do it like this. If I'm the let's say Saints right now, you have Alvin Kamara already, so why would you draft Saquon? You don't really need. But Drew Brees is getting older. He's going to retire soon. Then you might want to draft Baker. But this is a whole different conversation. But here, here's what I'm going to say. If you're going to tell me that Dwayne Haskins, we, that the Giants should have drafted Dwayne Haskins or Daniel Jones, you're crazy. You're crazy. Because guess what? That, that performance that, that Daniel Jones did the other day, did last night, did, did uh, in the, that afternoon, he he proved why he was taken with the first overall pick, first pick of the uh, first pick six overall. Because he's good. 
He's good, and Giants fans have nothing to complain about him anymore. Even if they don't make the playoffs this year, which they probably won't, I kind of would like to see them make the playoffs just to see how all these haters get it wrong. But even if they don't, if Daniel Jones is showing improvement constantly, Giants fans, you have nothing to worry about. Anyway, that's it for the video. I'll see you guys in the new video. Peace out.